وعفوك إن عفوت وحسن ظني Insha'Allah, we're now blessed to have the opportunity to listen to our dear brother Zain Bika from South Africa, who will be singing, insha'Allah, some of his well-known and loved Anashid. For those of those who don't know him, Zain Bika is a South African Nasheed artist who sings inspirational songs and has done so for the past 15 years. Zain's songs aim to inspire to the, all of the people's hearts towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their Islamic messengers and meaningful lyrics. So we're blessed with this opportunity to be able to listen to our dear brother Zain Bika who will entertain us by singing some of his well-known and loved Anashid. Enjoy yourselves and I invite to the stage to sing for us some of his Anashid, our dear brother Zain Bika. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Esteemed leaders, scholars, brothers and sisters, it gives me great pleasure to be here today to, uh, inshallah, inspire you. But whilst we may be on stage here singing songs in praise of Allah and His Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, only Allah can inspire the hearts. So we pray that, inshallah, Allah will inspire all of us towards that which is good. I am from South Africa. I started singing Islamic songs over 15 years ago. And as Imam Al-Ghazali said, the purpose of songs is to inspire the hearts towards Allah. All of the songs that I will be performing have only got voice and duff. And we try to use songs as an alternative to provide for our youth as education and inspiration. One of the first songs that I wrote many, many years ago was a song in praise of the best of mankind, the last Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And uh, this is the first song I'd like to sing now, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <laughs> Confusion, the chaos and the pain. A man emerged, and Muhammad was his name. And walking with nothing but Allah as his aid, and the mark of a prophet between his shoulder blades. In a cave in Mount Hira, the revelation came. Read, O oh Muhammad. Read in Allah's name. May the blessings of Allah be on Al Mustafa. None besides him could have been Al Mujtaba. Muhammad, peace be upon his soul. The greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa From among all the prophets, Muhammad was the last As his was a mission of the greatest task There was only moral degeneration People clung to idol adoration For all nations he was al-mukhtar so was he praised by Allah Al-Ghaffar, the bearer of glad tidings, Al-Bashir, leading unto light As-Siraj Al-Munir. Muhammad, peace be upon his soul. The greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In handling the wicked, he had the best of skill He pacified with tolerance and goodwill The best of morals he aimed to attain 
All he accomplished through suffering and pain, reviving Iman as Al Muthakir. He's known in the Quran as Al Mudafir. Only he was given the honor of marriage. Unique was this glory to Muhammad as Siraj. Muhammad, peace be upon his soul. The greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was a da'i ila Allah al-Azim. Al-Hadi ila sirat al-Mustaqim. His mission complete is held in great esteem. Allah praised him as Bil Khuluq al -Azim. May the blessings of Allah be on Al Mustafa. None besides him could have been Al Mujtaba. So perfect were his morals, so justly did he rule. Darkness had vanished and the world was full of Noor. Muhammad, peace be upon his soul. The greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Balag al-ula bi-kamalihi Kashafat tuja bi-jamalihi Hasunat jami'u khisalihi Sallu alayhi wa alihi Muhammad, peace be upon his soul The greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad, peace be upon his soul his soul, the greatest of prophets, Islam was his only goal. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you. We all know what's going on in the world today. There's so much pain and so much suffering through war. And as Muslims, sometimes we feel helpless, like there's nothing much we can do. But we should always remember if we cannot change things with our hands, we should try with our speech. If we can't do that, we should at least pray to Allah, who is in control of all things. So this is a prayer for a better world for all of us and all our children. I mean. Every morning on every news flash, I hear the sorrow of the world. It seems like everybody's lost and scared, trying to make sense of it all. And as I travel to and fro, so many faces pass me by. I see lonely hearts living lonely lives, just biding their time. And while we call ourselves civilized, many people living empty lives as they drone their way through day and night. I pray for our world, I pray for every child. I pray for our world to be filled with smiles Like the colors of a rainbow And not just black and white I pray for our world to be filled with light I pray for all of us to choose the path that's right Believe in Allah
We go on killing human lives to caught up in our own web of lies. I pray for our world. I pray for every child. I pray for our world to be filled with smiles like the colors of a rainbow. And not just black and white. I pray for our world to be filled with the light. I pray for all of us to choose the path that's right. Believe in our love every day of our life. Every mother, every father, every daughter, every son. Oh, don't you see that the answer lies only with the one? I pray for our world. I pray for every child. I pray for our world. To be filled with smiles Like the colors of a rainbow And not just black and white I pray for our world To be filled with life I pray, I pray for all of us To choose the path that's right To choose the path that's right Believe in our love every day of our lives. I pray for our world. Thank you. The whole Quran is a book for the man of action. I'm not the man who is idle. Let your actions be the reflection of your faith. They are the manifestation of the person you are and the beliefs you hold. Let us put our faith in action. Comprehend how real faith convinces one to act righteously. Connect to know Yasir Fazaga in Faith in Action every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Saudi Arabia and 7 p.m. UAE on Peace TV. Shirk, innovations, showing off, crimes against society, crimes against the family, crimes against yourself. Why do you think evil and corruption has appeared on the face of the land and in the sea? It is because of the evil which the hands of men have put forth. Sins darken the heart, take us away from Allah's mercy, and lead to our destruction and corruption. In order to avoid evil, you need to understand it. Join me, Abdurrahim Green, for a new series discussing the major sins only on Peace TV. To know the most serious and bad sins, as well as how to refrain from them, join Abdurrahim Green in Major Sins, next on Peace TV. Hey, la 
Alhamdulillah, a few years ago I had the wonderful honor and privilege to visit the holy cities of Mecca and Medina. And while I was there, I looked at the mountains surrounding the Kaaba and I asked myself if these mountains could talk. They have witnessed so many amazing events over the centuries. Ibrahim alayhi salam with his son coming to build the Kaaba, the birth of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So this next song is one of my favorites. It's called Mountains of Mecca. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <laughs> Mountains of Mecca, what can you say of the day that Abraham passed your way and he was instructed by God to build a house of peace where people will pray and they will come on every lean, camel and out of every ravine for the purpose of praising Allah. To glorify Allah. O mountains of Mecca, what can you tell of the day that stones from the sky fell, destroying an army determined to break the house of Allah that Abraham built? O mountains of Mecca, how was the dawn? On the day that my prophet Muhammad was born How did it feel knowing he was to be The last and most beloved of all Rasul of Allah Nabi of Allah Oh mountains of Mecca you were there when the Prophet Muhammad climbed down in despair Engraved in his heart were the words of his Lord To all of mankind this was his call La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah O people praise only Allah Glorify Allah Mountains of Mecca, how did you mourn on the day that the beloved returned to his Lord? And up till the last breath escaped from his lips, he prayed that his Ummah would find success. O oh, mountains of Mecca, how will it feel when the earth shall quake and tremble with fear? And we shall be gathered together to stand. In the court of Allah with our deeds at hand. Oh, how we pray that on that day we'll be with those to whom Allah will say, Peace be with you. I am pleased with you. Oh, mountains of Mecca, bear witness that I. To the oneness of Allah do I testify For all that He's given me how can I deny My purpose in life should be only to cry La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah There is no God but Allah Muhammad is His messenger La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah There is no God but Allah Muhammad is his messenger Jazakallah khair, thank you For any young person out there who's looking for a story about the greatest of love stories to look no further than the beautiful relationship between 
the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his first wife Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. And she stood by him at a time when it was very difficult for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And in, in light of that, I would like to sing a, a very beautiful song about a beautiful relationship that's, I think, as husbands, we need to learn a lot of things about appreciating our wives. And the song is called Zammiluni. <laughs> He stepped inside his home, he was overwhelmed with fear. An angel came with words from God, things were still unclear. Saying read, read, but he could not read, amazing words that he heard. A trembling deep inside his heart, confused by what had occurred. There was only one who could comfort him to help him see the light. To ease his fears, to reassure, was Khadija his wife. He said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni, a mighty task has come before me. I need you here with me by my side by my side mm -hmm. she was a woman of nobility successful in all her trade many wealthy men had asked for her she turned them all away but when she saw Muhammad, a shining moon, may peace be on his soul. He was a light for her, so right for her, her life will now be whole. But she had never seen him so distressed as he was there that day. She would comfort him and hold him tight. And chase his doubts away when he said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni, a mighty task has come before me. I need you here with me by my side, by my side, by my side. Then years had passed, times had changed since Khadija breathed her last. And the message of the one true God was spreading far and vast. But then he came across some jewelry that Khadija had once worn. His eyes began to swell with tears, his heart began to mourn. Cause she was there for him when the times were rough and his enemies were cruel. She was the first believer, so keen and eager to comfort our soul. When he said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni, a mighty task has come before me. I need you here with me. By my side, by my side, by my side. Rasulullah, Habib Allah, Nabi Allah, Shafi Allah, he said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni, a mighty task has come before me. I need you here with me by my side, by my side, by my side. Jazakallah khair.
Thank you so much. It's been an honor for me to sing for you today. And I, please make dua for me. And I pray that the event is a success. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ilahi la tu'adhibni fa'inni Ilahi la tu'adhibni fa'inni Muqarrun bil-lazhi qad kana minni Fama li hilatun illa فمالي حيلة إلا رجاك